Hello. Welcome to 5-Minute Yoga for Everybody. I'm Deborah Demander, and today we are doing a practice to move into stillness. We might have a lot going on this week, and there's not just a lot going on this week. There's been a lot going on lately, and it can be hard for people. It can be hard for us. So today's practice is a gentle practice to help us move into a quieter, into a quiet space, into, into stillness. <clears throat> you know, the practice of yoga, the asanas were created in order to uh, quiet the busy mind. So give the, give the physical body something to do so that you could then meditate for not us, but for hours on end. We aren't going to do that today, but what we're going to do today is a very quiet, gentle practice for helping ourselves find some stillness, find some peace inside ourselves. While I'm recording this, it's um, it's right before Thanksgiving, about a, a few days before Thanksgiving, and there's been a lot of um, disruption in the world, and it can be unsettling for people. So we're going to find a comfortable seat. You can be kneeling. You could be seated if you'd like. You could sit. Um, you could sit with legs at at ninety ninety. I think it's called. You could sit um, cross legged if you prefer. There's really no wrong way to begin. But what we want to do is find a comfortable seat on our mat. I'm not. I don't even have a mat today. I'm just wearing. I just got home from work. I'm wearing the clothes that I worked in today. And I'm just showing up how I am because that's who I am. <laughs> I'm just going to show up here. And <sighs> there's no there's no wrong way to do our practice. That's what I'd like to first encourage you. So <clears throat> let's find a comfortable seat. And as we come to this seated, seated position, few deep breaths. Honestly, I did just walk in the door, so I'm a little discombobulated, but I really wanted to, I really wanted to find some stillness in myself, and I thought it might be nice to share that with you. So let's, um, maybe from our, from our seated position, let's come on to our backs. Now you can lie flat on the mat if you'd like. You could also maybe have knees bent. That might feel nice. You could also, if you wanted, you could also um, have legs extended. You could have some blocks under your hips, whatever feels most comfortable. But let's bring hands to our bellies and take a deep breath. And just letting ourselves ground into the mat or into the floor, onto the bed if we're on a bed. I'm gonna rock my shoulders a little. My shoulders are tight and tense from my day. <laughs> And as we come into our breath, recognizing that the breath is really our own. The breath is all we have. Our breath and ourselves, our thoughts. We don't own anything. We can't control anyone but ourselves. And so I invite you to take a few deep breaths and really feel into your body. Now let's extend one leg on the mat. We're gonna pull one knee straight into our chest, keeping our shoulders on the mat, and just feeling that opening of the hip. And if you'd like, you can rotate your ankle in a circle. You can go the opposite way. Let's extend that leg now overhead, just finding a gentle stretch. Oh. And let's bend the knee. We're going to bring the shin toward the chest. Very gentle position here. Not a lot of movement or activity. And now let's take that foot. Let's cross it over the body. We're gonna cross it all the way over. Now the knee can come down. We can just bring the foot to the mat. 
we can be wherever feels comfortable and however much space we have. I don't have a lot of space in my little room here, but this is my space and I love it. And now let's slowly come back to center. We're gonna bring both knees into the chest and let's rock side to side. And now we'll switch sides, extending the opposite leg, pulling, for me it's the left knee, for you it can be whatever knee you want, pulling your knee into your chest and rotating the foot. Breathing deeply. We wanna keep our jaw relaxed and our face soft. Now let's extend the leg overhead, only as far as feels comfortable. So if your leg is here and your knee is bent, you can bring your leg wherever feels comfortable. There's no wrong way to do our practice. And now bending that knee, bringing the shin toward the chest. Again, just a gentle rotation in that hip, feeling it in the glutes. And now let's bring that foot all the way across the body. So knee can stay bent and the foot can come to the mat. We can rotate and bring the knee toward the mat. We can do whatever feels good in this moment. Now let's come back to center. I invite you to bring both knees to the chest and again, let's rock side to side. Breathing. And now we'll bring our legs all the way to the mat. Let's extend legs onto the mat. Hands come to the belly. And we're just gonna lay here, quieting the mind. And as we breathe, let's just settle into our body without needing to do anything else, without needing to fix anything or anyone else. Noticing our breath. And now again, we're gonna bring knees to the chest. Let's come on to one side and let's make our way to all fours. We'll do a little bit of spinal movement. So as we come to all fours, we're gonna inhale forward, lifting the chin, the tummy presses toward the mat, and then we'll rock back. We reach the shoulder blades to the ceiling or to the sky. The head drops, the tailbone drops. Let's do that again. Inhaling to come forward and then exhaling. Oh, and let's drop our hips all the way back to child's pose. Now in child's pose, you might like to have your hips a little bit elevated. You might like to bring your hips all the way back to your heels. There's no wrong way to do it. Mm -hmm. And let's do that one more time. Inhaling, flowing forward, finding our cow pose. Our tummy is pressing toward the mat. I don't know if you can see my back. Our back is arched. Our shoulders are lifting. Our head is lifting. Our chin is lifting. Our tailbone is lifted. And our tummy's pressing down. Now we're going to switch that. We're going to drop the head. We're going to drop the tailbone, lifting the shoulder blades to the sky. And now hips come all the way back to the heels. And as we come into our child's pose, if you can, if you'd like, bringing the forehead to the mat or to the floor. And as we press our forehead, maybe you wanna press your head into your hands or into the floor. But as we make contact with the surface, imagine allowing all of those busy thoughts, all of that busy mind to drain. Releasing all of that anxiety, all of that worry, all of that fear, and letting ourselves grow still in this present moment. The future is out there somewhere. We never get there. We're always here, we're always now. The past is behind us and we can never fix it or change it because we're always here, we're always now. So I invite you to sit in this stillness as long as it feels good today. And when you feel ready, if you feel ready, 
You can come back to your comfortable seated position. <sighs> Deep breath. Let it all out. There's nothing to fear. We have this one life. We have this one moment. We have this now. So letting go of all of the anxiety, letting go of all of the concerns, and just focusing on the breath. That is my suggestion for today. I thank you for joining me. I appreciate you being here. In yoga, we say namaste. It means the love and the joy of God that live in me. Greet that love and that joy that live in you. It's my way of honoring who you truly are and acknowledging your beautiful soul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you have a wonderful day moving into stillness. Bye.